sweet. Bro. Yeah. I'm seeing these Warriors play. I know they don't have Draymond, but this the way they've been playing has kind of been turning me off lately as far as yeah. making them think they making me think that they can go to the finals. Yeah. I agree. I'm, I think yeah. it's a um I forgot what the I thought, was it a four game losing streak or something like that. I'm not sure. I gotta go back and look, but it's not been a good run post all-star break at all. Um I, I think the Draymond Green thing is huge, you know, missing him. Yeah, we always criticize Draymond Green, but we know how important he is to this team. Um, you know, this is a guy who's consistently every year defensive player of the year candidate. We know what he brings from a playmaking standpoint. He just makes so much happen. We talk yeah. about Steve Kerr's system. Yeah. A lot revolves around him. You know, he's like, yeah. I like we call him a system player, but he's literally one of the greatest system players we've ever seen. You know what I'm saying? So he makes so many things happen. Yeah. Not having him. Is, is a kind of a weird dynamic for this they, team. They missed that they missed that seven points per game, that eight points per game. They miss <laughs> oh it. God, no, I'm just cool. playing. I'm just playing. But yeah, they definitely miss him because he, mm -hmm. he he's a good floor general and he yeah. can stretch the floor, even yeah. though he can't shoot anymore. But, yeah, yeah. He makes so many things happen. I think uh, and it's a lot of weird stuff. Like I think right now, Clay, like uh Warriors fans are really, really critical of Steve Kerr. Um, and I think last night, you know, Clay kind of got fed up with his minutes restriction. I remember him like walking off like a little bit before halftime because he got to he had to get out the game. And I remember wa him walking into the locker room. So it's, you know, a really weird point for Golden State, uh, you, you know, at this point in the season. I mean, I don't think that is a good point that you brought up about how you think about their their championship hopes. I think they're still alive. They're not my favorite. I think Phoenix yeah. is my favorite. I maybe yeah. win it all. Yeah. But, yeah, it was a point in time though where you can kind of you're splitting, you can kind of be like splitting hairs with Phoenix and the mm -hmm. uh, I was about to say Phoenix and the Suns, mm -hmm. um, Phoenix and Golden State because they were just like both right there. Yeah. But right before the All Star break is when Golden State kind of started losing games, and that's when yeah. the Suns like got a six game lead. Yeah, in the standings, so I don't know. I yeah. just I just feel like they're like that probably because Clay isn't Clay yet. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I don't know if he'll ever get back to Clay Clay. I think he could. I think because I he, think he can. Yeah. If, you, if you see what he's doing, like even on the minutes restriction, he's he's been putting up the good numbers. Yeah. So, so I think one, like once he gets off of there, he'll he'll be he'll be fine. It yeah. probably take him another. It take when you when you hurt like that two years in a row, at least take you another year or at least yeah. half a season or something to get back to your normal. Well, yeah. I mean, good thing is he, he doesn't really rely on athleticism. So that's what right. I was about to say. I think his thing has been rhythm. I really think I think it's been less about him recovering or whatever. I think the recovery is going great. They're like, damn it, his first play back in the, or one of his first plays was a dunk on somebody. Hey, you know? but I think but also, but also, my bad, Coach. Well, I think I think Andrew Wiggins and uh, Jordan Poole being there kind of has something to do with his rhythm being off because yeah. he, he's never played with them. That's very true. Andrew Wiggins, so it that's has something fact. to do with that too. That's a fact, you know, trying to get acclimated into like a new, you know, not a new offense because he's used to it, but new pieces in that offense. You know, Andrew Wiggins is, is a weird guy to kind of move around. You know what I mean? Uh, I always kind of question the fit between him, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. He's doing his thing. But, you know, I, it, it is kind of it is looking like he's trying to adjust with a lot of these newer guys. And I think he could find it. But if they can end up getting playoff Clay. Um, and getting big games out of him and get that Splash Brothers thing really back and moving. And they've still been solid. I mean, his three-point efficiency is still maybe below what we're used to, but it's still above league average yeah. and it's still exceptional. Yeah. So um, yeah. not exceptional, but it's still it's still solid, good enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, but if they can get him back and if, if they can get playoff Clay back plus Draymond back in the mix, I think everything else is going to work itself out because yeah. Kaminga's been playing great, pool has been great, their role players are doing what they need to do. I'm still confident in Golden State. They're not my favorite out west, but I think Phoenix is still at the top. But I think Golden State will still be my second favorite out in the Western Conference right now. Yeah. We we just got to keep in mind it's not easy. Okay, say you hurt for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and then you come back to the team and a dude's averaging 20, basically that's in your spot. Yeah, or one of the dudes. One dude's averaging like 16, 17, other dudes averaging 20. Mm -hmm. And they're really the two dudes that take your spot. Yeah. It's kind of hard for you to just go in there and just average what you normally did, which is yeah. like 22. Yeah. You can't, it's impossible actually. So that's why I'm glad he was back earlier in the season. You know what I mean? I, I really am because it's always tough bringing in, bringing back injured guys or bringing guys to a new team, especially when the playoffs are coming near and trying to figure out what works. Like I think with the Nets, you know, not to really totally drift away from the Warriors here, but with Brooklyn, you know, you look at them, they're not going to get Simmons back to like the net, the last 10 games of the season. If that's even, even if he plays those last 10, he may play five out of those 10. They, who knows? They, they saying he might, they saying it's a possibility they might hold him out to the playoffs just to see, yeah. just to see where he's at, and that's that would piss me off as an owner yeah. and all that shit. Because like, bro, I just what if, I just I know, but it's the, he still hasn't like played. He has, you got to know, he hasn't played. Man, that. I don't, man, I don't care. I traded for him to play sooner or later to see what I got. I don't want to just hey, Lord, I want to just wait to the playoffs and then he plays back, and then I just don't. I don't know. I got to see what I what I traded for. Well, I mean, that's what you got. That's what you got YouTube for, Carl. 
Oh. And, and, and Nash got to experiment with how he's going to use Simmons. Is he going to be a small ball five? Is he going to be playmaking while they put Kyrie off the ball? You know, what's this, what's, what are yeah. they going to do? So that is why it's tough bringing a guy in there. That's why I'm glad Clay came back earlier because he's kind of, you know, he's still getting back into the swing of things and he's going to have time to get back to his normal self. And we've seen shades of his normal self big time throughout the season. Like he's had a, a bunch of really big games. One of his better games came against the Lakers, you know, when they played before the All-Star break. Um, yeah, you know, he had yeah. 34. Yep, and it was the best player on the court that night. So, uh, you know, hopefully I can get him back. But I'm 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 not way too worried about Golden State. Not slightly, but not not like I I think a lot of their issue is just rhythm, you know. And then I think a lot of this changes once Draymond Green is back with that, without a doubt in my mind. Because you look at outside of Clay and Steph right now, your best players are like younger guys, you know what I mean? And that's not what Golden State is really super, super used to, you know. So yeah, shout yeah. to the Warriors. They'll be they'll 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 get it right. They're they're I think third in the West right now, right behind Memphis. I think I think they're yeah. still a better team than Memphis. You know what I mean? So.